a really beautiful place. Uh, really close to Kyoto. It's actually still Kyoto. Look at this view. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Kyoto is packed right now because of the cherry blossom season. This year it was really early, so we missed a lot of the cherry blossoms, unfortunately. But uh, there's still some left. I don't know if you can tell, but that was cherry blossoms. <laughs> They're like turning color already, but it's fine. They still look gorgeous. Um, so Uji kind of turned into my safe place for some reason. I really like it here. It's so gorgeous. Love the nature. Oh, there's the cherry blossoms. <laughs> Love the nature here. And obviously it's just so quiet. The city is famous for matcha in like tea. Uh, there's lots of shrines around in the area and there river is like so clean and beautiful they also have a super cute starbucks i'm gonna show it later to you because actually i'm on my way there now well basically i plan today to go somewhere else i wanted to check out a temple that's like on top of some mountains but it's very far away i don't have a car unfortunately so it's kind of hard to go there uh so i think i'll just do it another time i will probably stay in japan for at least some years i guess so i think there will be like another time where i can maybe go there with a the car because it's really really inconvenient with the trains it takes really long you need to change a lot of times and it's just really risky for me with the changing because uh yesterday when i went to yoshino i couldn't catch all the trains and then i got stranded for like an hour somewhere um so i'm not gonna do that again so I'm going to Starbucks now and then I will see you there and get some coffee, charge my phone. I think this is supposed to be some kind of cherry blossom and I missed it. I'm so sad. It's such a beautiful tree. Unfortunately, they don't have anything to charge. But yeah, I have my charger, but they said they don't have any plugs. Look how beautiful. Wait. So nice here, I love it. So quiet. And you have like a really nice mix of the nature, but also like houses, people living here. The shops, like the owners, they're all so kind, like I can't. <laughs> Everyone's so sweet and so nice here. I love it so much. Look how empty the streets are. It's like Sakura season in Kyoto right now. So basically if you're tired and you need a break of the crowds, I recommend you to come here. Uji is great. It takes 20 minutes with the train from Kyoto station. Right now I'm thinking what I should do. I went to that one temple last time I was here, like a month ago. I think I want to go there again because I don't want to say I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> this sounds bad, but today I'm taking the Shinkansen back to Tokyo and my Shinkansen is like at 6 or 7 p.m. So I still have time and I think if I got back to Kyoto, I think I will waste too much time like with the trains and everything. So I think I just want to stay here as long as possible and uh, enjoy the views. Yeah. Okay, there's one thing that bothers me around here. For some reason, there's like lots of little flying insects. It's all the same thing. They don't do anything. I think it's like moths or something. I'm not sure what they are, but there's lots of them. Um, I don't think you can see them. Like I will try to record them or something. <laughs> I have no idea what they are, but they're everywhere. But they don't do anything. They just fly around.
gorgeous bridge I've just been on so pretty here I love it and so empty it's like 4 p.m. Uh, weather's like okay-ish kind of cloudy but it's really warm it's like 20 degrees today so there's actually no reason why it should be empty here uh, it's Tuesday I think Wednesday <laughs> It's like a random Wednesday today, so that could be the reason, but a lot of people still have off from like spring break. So I thought it would be more crowded, honestly, but it's so nice. I can really relax and like just chill a little bit after yesterday's mountain action <laughs> and being stuck in the countryside for a bit. I mean, it was fun, but still, uh, next time it would be nice if I don't get stuck. <laughs> There's some of the shrine over there. I hope I can be able to show you. Can you see it? It's like right there. And I've been there. I saw like they have cherry blossoms. Like you do see these huge cherry blossom trees. Wow. I didn't, I haven't been able to see them. Like either I didn't get into the like right way or they're not like accessible that easily like maybe in some garden or something i don't know i'm just sitting down for a little bit um enjoying the weather and then i'll head to the temple i'm not sure if i can do it in time because it's 4 p.m usually they won't let you in after like 4 20 or 4 30 but i'm really close so it should be fine uzi if you ever look for someone to like collaborate with this girl I love it here, please hit me up <laughs> if you're interested because I love it here. It's like, I don't know, it's, I think it's my favorite city in Japan at this point. And I've been to lots of nice places, but I really just like the vibe here. It's like the nature. You have these beautiful like bridges. The bridges is like 600 years old or something. It's just very nice here. I'm so surprised like no one comes here. It's really close to Kyoto. So I'm really surprised no one is here. There's like not many people at all. I feel like maybe it's not that popular of a place to go to. There's lots of tea, like Uji's famous for good tea. I bought like four bags <laughs> of matcha and like uh, sencha and everything. There's a store here that's over like 500 years old. Apparently it's one of the oldest um, tea shops in like this area or even in Japan. It's like the oldest. I didn't get what he said 100% because he spoke Japanese. Like he was Japanese, but I didn't understand it so well. I, maybe it was because of me or he just had some kind of dialect. I didn't get that much. He told me it's a really old tea shop and they're famous and he even serve tea to the emperor so they have like tea that sells for uh 5,000 or 6,000 and for a bag like not a tea bag but like uh like 100 gram or something which is like kind of pricey considering the one i bought was like 1,500 yen but still okay but i'm um, excited to try it and see if it's actually like that good also i saw a really cute shiba inu in this area today it feels like really fluffy and white. I love that like, that cream color. But unfortunately, I don't really see him anymore. Uh, I think they left. Also, I don't know what that white duck is doing there. I don't know what's his purpose. He was here already last time, but he's like the only one. There's like no other duck around this area that's white. because I managed to get in and closing in like an hour so I still have time I'm really surprised I feel like they would close at 5 but they said like um, I should exit until 5 30 which is really surprising that's so nice I have time to take lots of pictures yay they're not ready yet but they look funny kind of <laughs> oh. 